good morning my dear students this is ba second semester class today's class will cover indian writing in english your paper number is enz sc 2016 here we will discuss vivian derozio that is henry louis vivian derozio and his biography and his works that are related to our syllabus and uh, uh here we will see how uh he contributed to the society to the literary field okay he was born in 1809 and died in 1831 as you can see in my handwritten note though the handwritten note is not so clear because i used a very low quality paper uh, next class uh, in the next class i shall try to use a very good quality paper so that you that the uh, things can be clear okay he was born in 1809 henry louis vivian de rosier 1809 he was born and died in 1831 that means he lived only for 22 years but he did a lot for the society for the literature for the philosophy the points that to be remembered uh about henry louis vivian de rosier where he was a poet and assistant headmaster hindu college calcutta that is uh he was a teacher as well as a poet he was a radical thinker and one of the first indian educators to disseminate western learning and science among the young generations of bengal just try to remember that he was a radical thinker he was in western uh he was fond of western learning and science that is he he was opposing the age old theories of indian society it is clear and he was a son of indian father and english mother this is why his name is uh, something uncommon his name was henry louis vivian de rosier it is not like the bengali name at all number 4 is he is influenced by the romantic poets of england that is the ideologies that is the ways of thinking where uh influenced by the romantic poets of england the romantic poets like uh, john keats coleridge wordsworth okay the the romantic poets always believed in a freedom of thought freedom of expression and uh, liberty equality and fraternity in the society and our uh derozio was also one of them who believed in such kind of ideologies and he began publishing patriotic verses when he was only 17 patriotic verses patriotic means related to patriotism related to the love for the nation so though he was so young he started writing poetry writing poems and uh, he published uh, his poems when he was only 17 there are uh, many similarities between the romantic poet john keats and our derozio because john keats also died when he was only 21 okay the next point is in 1826 he was appointed as instructor at hindu college appointed as instructor at hindu college he could influence the students with great teaching style that is his style of teaching was awesome next uh, he promoted radical ideas through his teachings and by arranging debates and discussions on literature history and philosophy as well as science 
I, I have already told you, he was fond of philosophy and science. He was fond, fond of uh, new learning, new Western learning. And he was also fond of literature and history. This is why he promoted his radical ideas uh, by arranging, by organizing debates and discussions on literature, history, philosophy, and science. That is, he wanted to promote the ideas that he believed through, organ through, through such kind of organizations. Next one is, through these activities, he practically uh, charmed the young students of Calcutta and brought about an intellectual revolution among them. It is already uh, told. And next one is uh, number nine. As a result, he uh, formed a Young Bengal Movement. That is, he started a movement uh, taking the help from the young people, the young generation of Calcutta or Bengal in 1820s. The name of the movement was Young Bengal Movement. I have marked it and you can see. And uh, it is inspired by the French Revolution. French Revolution, which uh, occurred in 1789 to 1799. French Revolution, in Assamese, it is called Farasi Biplob. It was a, a kind of uprising of the common people against the higher authority. Uh, you just go through the history of the French Revolution. Uh, in the class today, we will not discuss uh, the French Revolution in details. Uh, just you have to remember that French Revolution is all about the uprising of the, com of the common people against the oppressors, against uh, the people who are dominating them. Okay. So the motto of the French Revolution itself was equality, liberty, and fraternity. Fraternity, equality, and liberty. These three things are important in French Revolution. And all uh, the, the romantic writers, romantic poets were influenced by this French Revolution. Our uh, Derosio was also one of them. Number 10 is uh, about his ideas and teachings regarding in the literature, history, philosophy, science, and society. I have forgotten to write the society here. You just include it. Literature, history, philosophy, science, and society. He was teaching, he was preaching the society uh, about his uh, ideas regarding the following. You just try to focus on what I am showing. His ideas, number one, freedom of speech and thought. Try to focus on the diagram that I am showing. What are the ideas, basic ideas, main ideas that uh, our Derosio uh, believed in? Number one is freedom of speech and thought. Freedom of speech and thought. That is, everyone must have the freedom to speak. Freedom to express themselves. Number two is the patriotism. He wrote on patriotism. We have uh, many poems uh, of De Rosio which tells about the patriotism. For example, uh, the Harp of India which tells about the glory, the glory of India. That means he, it glorifies the Indian history, Indian culture, the Indian society. That is Patriotism is one of the important issues in his teachings and ideas. Number three is questioning the authorities. 
he always believed in questioning the authorities. That is, he always wanted to uh, make our country, make our society uh, casteless and classless. So equality should be prevailed in the society according to our De Rosio. This is why he always questions the higher class. He always questions the society uh, so that uh, uh, we can abolish the class system. Number four is he believed in liberty, love, equality and fraternity. Liberty means you know. Love is also you know equality and fraternity fraternity is nothing else it is brotherhood okay uh, these are the important aspects of the french revolution so he took these ideas from french revolution itself number five is right to education for women he was always vocal about the right to education for women Next, he was against the orthodox, orthodox Hinduism, that is extreme Hinduism. Okay, he always uh, uh, denied the extreme Hinduism. The ortho orthodox Hinduism, he always denied. The next one is opposed, he opposed the social traditions and customs. What kind of social traditions and customs? The old and uh, obsolete social customs and traditions. What are they? The examples, child marriage and Sati Pratha. Sati Pratha, I think you know that. In the history books, you have uh, read it about, read uh, about Sati Pratha. Sati Pratha is uh, when the husband dies, the wife also should die along with the husband by jumping into the fire okay this is uh, sati pratha and he was against such kind of illogical things the next one is the freedom of press and the next is the protection of riots from oppressive zamindars and the next one is better treatment for indian laborers in abroad. These are the important aspects that our De Rosio was working on. So uh, he formed a movement, started a movement named Young Bengal Movement and uh, this particular movement was, uh, uh, was trying to abolish all the all the things which are not relevant to the society and the most importantly and lastly i would like to tell you what are the contributions of henry vivian de rosio toward the field of literature in our syllabus two poems are included one is the freedom to the slave number two is the orphan girl and as i have written in my note at the top corner top right corner Freedom to the Slave, you can see it, and the Orphan Girl. Both are about the social problems. Both are about the social problems, about the society, uh, about the perspectives of the society. And other poems and other works uh, that he published were, number one is Poems in 1827. It is a short, it is a it is a an, it is an anthology of poems that was published in 1827 it includes the poems like the harp of india as i have already told you and number two is songs sorry sorry song of hindustani minstrel these are not important from the perspective of our syllabus this is why i'm not elaborating these things 